Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory. I give you honor for the privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people, Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, O oh God, be pleasing to thee. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My name is Pastor Florence Maina, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy, a program of One World Digital Media. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. The title of my message with, will be, We Need a Mordecai at the Gate. We know that gates is where people enter and get out from. And uh, I remember during the old time, I would see the old men at the end of the day, they would make sure that the gates are crossed, either the gates of the cattle shed or the, where the sheep were kept or the gate to enter the homestead of the particular homestead. And every time, I never, I can always remember that the man would go and check whether the gates are opened to cross them at the night for security. The gates are there for security. My brother, my sister, we all have gates. We can lock them with our doors. Our doors, we make sure that they are locked when we are going out or when we are coming in. I thank God for my son, for my small, for my younger son, David. He's very keen when we are driving out. He'll always ask, Mom, have you locked the door? And sometimes he just get out of the car and go and check. God bless you. You are growing out to be a man who will be keeping the gates of your heart and of your family. And I'm taking this prophetically as I give this message because we have to start from Jerusalem in Jesus' name. Amen. My verses of reference will be from the book of Esther chapter 2, verse 19 to 22. And I will read in Jesus' name. When the virgins were assembled a second time, Mordecai was sitting at the king's gate, but Esther had kept sacred her, her family background and nationality, just as Mordecai had told her to do. For she continued to follow Mordecai's instruction as she had done when he was bringing her up. During the time Mordecai was sitting at the king's gate, Bigthana and Teresh, two of the king's officers who guarded the, the doorway, became angry and conspired to assassinate King Accessors. But Mordecai found out about the plot and told Queen Esther, who in turn reported it to the king, giving credit to Mordecai. And when the report was investigated and found to be true, the two offi officials were, imp were impelled on pause. All this was recorded in the book of the annuals in the presence of the king. May the Lord bless his wa word. Mordecai was sitting at the gate, not just to guard, but he was guarding in a, in, a, in a different way. He was interceding and he was praying. He was an anchor to Esther. And he had given Esther instructions not to identify herself as a Jew. And I want to thank God that Esther, this young lady, listened to the instructions of the anchor. Can we find an Esther of the day? Who can listen to the instructions of an anchor? Who can li listen to the instruction of a mother if the anchor is not here? Who can listen to the instructions of the father? Who can li listen to the instruction of the elders? God bless this young lady. Back to my point, oh, the gates need to be guarded. The gates of our children need to be guarded. The gates of the young generation need to be guarded. The gates of the media need to be guarded. How? We are going to guard them with prayers. When you open up the TV and you see they are all nasty stuff, what do you do? Don't just cross it. Just intercede and tell God to do something. We can't just back up and expect everything is going to be okay. That is like looking at the gate and it's open. And you leave it there. The enemy will get in. Oh, we need to keep the gates of our marriages because at the, this time, these last days, the enemy 
is so much mad about marriages. Why? Because he know a stable family equals a stable future generation, equals a stable uh, community, equals a stable church, equals a, a stable nation. We must guard the gates of our marriages. We must purpose and be focused to guard the gates of our media the gates of our young people, the gates of our ministries. Ministries are going through stuff. Self of commercializing. God help every minister of the gospel to know the call. The call is not money. The call is to depopulate hell and populate heaven. Other things will come. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. I do not say you do not give offering. No. I do not say you do not tithe. No. Because this word commands us to do that. But we must be careful not to idolize what is being given other than worshipping our God and serving him with our whole heart. Hmm. Seeking God, expanding the kingdom and the righteousness. It is costly. And when it is costly, I'm reminded that money or any currency is just but a regal tender. If you need your building furnished, God will provide in ways you cannot understand. Of course, or skilled people will be needed and will need to be paid. You, God can do it. God can just ask somebody and say, I'm going to take care of this. God is in the business of blessing his people in ways we cannot understand, in ways we do not expect. I want to remind you of Abraham. He looked up and God provided. Looking up, it's a sign of prayer, my brother, my sister. Coming back to keeping our gates. We have to keep the gates of our morale. Our minds are the target of the enemy. We have to guard them. How do we guard our minds? We have to guard them by feeding them with the right stuff. With worship. With praise. With the word of God. Yeah, We have to guard our time. The enemy is fighting our time. That you, you find yourself proxenating. Proxenating is a tool the enemy uses. So that you are caught unaware. And I'm going to refer you to the ten virgins. Five of them were foolish and five of them were wise. May God help you to guard the gates. We need a Mordecai to guard. We need a Mordecai to guard your heart. You need yourself to be a Mordecai to guard your morale, morality. You need, oh, yourself to guard your time, how you use it. Our career. We can't afford to be changing career time and again because we are wasting our time. We do not want to live in regret in our future days. May the Lord help you. But we need a Mordecai. We need a Nesta who can listen. Where are you at? Are you a Mordecai or are you a Nesta? If you read Kinre in those words, Esther was always remembering and keeping the words as instructed. Remember she feared at some point when Mordecai told her, to go and intervene in the, for the, uh, to the king. And she said, you have no idea that I cannot present myself to the king otherwise I'm going to die. That uh, is not the protocol. And Mordecai stood his ground. We have to stand our ground. And he told her, who know that you are there? You, you are not there for such a time as this. Because if you keep silent, don't think you are going to be safe when we are, mess, when we are finished. We must not keep quiet. We must tell the truth. The truth will set us free. John 8, 32 says, You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Let me stop there. But we need a Mordecai. We need a Nesta who can listen to a Mordecai. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to identify who we are. A Mordecai or a Nesta. A Nesta to heed to the instructions and a Mordecai to give the instructions without fear or compromise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And it all starts from a personal relationship with the Lord. You are there. You have never trusted the Lord. Do you like to say this prayer after me? Heaven is still having a place for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I pray that you help me to listen to the instructions of your word, just like Esther listened to the instructions of, his, of her uncle. Help me, O oh God, I declare and decree that God, I'll follow you. 
write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus name amen and amen if you have prayed that prayer you've been transformed next step hmm, look for a church nearby you where which teaches the full gospel without compromise for you for your growth when you go there make it to your home church if you feel you're not comfortable there look for a church that you can call home that you can be able to identify that you can be able to be active not a spectator but a participator and the lord will bless you there is always work for you to do in the house of god god bless you and until next time i'm your presenter pastor florence minor of celebrate your moment with joy you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of god 24 7 366 days a year by dialing 563 you can also tune in and search one word miracle radio that way using your smartphone go to the presto download the app one word digital media it is free when you are blessed be a blessing to other people by sharing I would also encourage you to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. If you have done so, continue praying for this ministry. If God is leading you to join our team, welcome on board. There is always something to do, especially in the technical skills. And the Lord will bless you. This is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. Coming Saturday, few days remaining, we have the regeneration time. Yeah. God is doing a new thing. You are more than welcome. It's going to be where I go, my home church, Grace Fellowship, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. I can't just wait to see you there. God bless you. Thank you.